Hi there, Greg Holmeson, Philippines Recruitment Company. And I'm gonna provide you with all the information that I can about successfully recruiting out of the Philippines. I've been doing this now for over 10 years and there's a lot of learned along the way and I'm putting together a series that goes through every step of the process so you can understand more about what it's about and why things are done in a particular way. I'll be going from everything with POEA or Philippines Employment Administration Accreditation right through to deployment and how we look after our candidates once they arrive in Australia. But firstly, POEA Accreditation or Philippines Overseas Employment Administration Accreditation. It's, a, it's the first thing that needs to be done before anyone can recruit out of the Philippines. And it's one of those things that does create a lot of questions when we go through this process. The POEA have been set up in the Philippines to look after and protect the welfare of Filipinos being deployed anywhere around the world. And this organisation has been set up and it does an incredible job of making sure that the Filipinos go into accredited workplaces wherever they are around the world and that the employer has agreed on certain terms and conditions of employment for the Filipinos. It's a one size fits all. If you want to employ a Filipino, you must go through this accreditation process and agree to the terms and conditions as set out by the POEA. Now this documentation um, in Australia goes to the Philippines Overseas Labour Attaché in Canberra for signing and stamping and then gets whisked away to the POEA uh, in the Philippines. And there are some certain uh, re statutory requirements that go into this documentation like uh, you know, employment terms and conditions, getting candidates to and from work, health insurance, uh, repatriating uh, candidates, all sorts of things that go into this documentation. But again, it's an absolute requirement if you are to employ Filipinos. Without this, the Filipinos cannot get uh, an overseas employment certificate or an OEC, which allows them out of the country and into Australia. So that's the first piece to understand. Um, the next piece I'm going to go into is, is, is more around the actual recruitment process. So click on the next link to learn more. Cheers.